Now what we're going to do is we're going to provide the ability to update the password. So we want to make sure our system's turned on. Remember, this is what we have in our database at the moment. We have the username and the password. We're going to change this field, okay? When we run it, we have this capability here. So if we add someone, we can go, Hank, we'll give them the same password. We'll click on add user, return. And as you can see, this is now added to the system. So inside here, how we're going to do this is we're going to do it pretty much using PHP to list the information and provide a form so we can actually make the change and update in one go. So here we're going to say list update. DB connect, which of course should be inside our PHP command as such. Now let's make this function. So inside here, now because the first part of what we're trying to do is show what we're updating, we can literally take a copy of this, this listing capability, paste it in here, change this to list update, and change what it modifies here. So in this case here, we are listing out the user and their details. So let's now turn this into a form. So if we go echo like this, and we can go form method is post. We can go action. So, and here we'll basically go into pages slash update.php. So once again, this page doesn't exist yet. It'll happen when we click it. Underneath here, we'll go echo. Here we'll put in an input field and we'll put in the type is password. So that's what we're changing. We give it a name password and we'll put in a little capital H there a placeholder of enter new password like so and then next to that we'll put in input of Type submit. So this is going to be the button that they see. We'll give it a value of change password. Change password. And we'll put the line break there. And the last part is closing off the form. Now, one of the things we also want to include here is to make sure that we're doing it to the right account is we want to include a hidden form. So in here, we can go input type equals hidden. The name will be user ID and the value will be Notice the structure, double quote, single quote, dot and dot, single quote, double quote, will be dollar sign row ID. Okay, so first things first, now that we've got that there, let's save it. Jump over and take a look, so we'll refresh here. Now, notice, this is Scott, Gene, password, and so forth. Let's go check, we didn't see a button come up. Uh, input type submit value equals change password. I did not close this guy off with one of those. Okay. This is why we always make changes in one point and then we can go back in and fix things up. So always be careful that you don't add too much code at one point in time. Put it in, test it, make sure it's right, and then go back. Now, if we look at the source code here, let's turn line wrap on. 
you notice, so if we go from here, do, 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 where's our closing form? To here, right? Each of these elements are a separate form for each update. And the input value, the hidden, so notice the first one is one. If we do gene here, you'll see the hidden is value two. And if we do Hank, the hidden value is three. What that means is when we fill out this form field, click this button, we'll go to a new page and provide the exact details needed to change that account. So from here, we now need to create the update page. So we click in pages, click on plus, and we'll go update.php. From here, once again, let's do it the easy way. Um, actually, we can take all of our add, don't, and paste, and then from here, because we're going to basically use a different function, and this is going to be update. Now, here we're going to want user ID, and we're sending through the user ID and the password that we collect. And this isn't going to be added. This is going to be record updated or failed to update record. So we've got to write this function. So we're going to jump in here, go to the functions, fill out the form, go to here, collect the information. Right, so these names here have to match these names here. So that's why we've got user ID and password. Put it into here, and now we've got to write this function. So take a copy of that, come to here, scroll down a little more, file, and then go function here, curly braces. Now, to do this, we're going to basically put in an SQL command so this is the structure of what we're going to do so we're going to assign sql equals so and then we're going to go update the table which is the users table so as you can see from here users is the table that we're just playing with at the moment with and we're going to set password to equal our label because we're going to want to sanitize our information where ID equals UID. Now from here, we're going to create a bunch of query commands. So we're going to go assign query as assigned DB connect. And here we're going to prepare our SQL. So we're sanitizing and now we start binding our information together. So we go query. Find parameter this. So from here, because we've got two elements, copy and paste that like that. We have our PW, which is our dollar sign password. And we have our colon UID, which is our dollar sign user ID. From here, what we want to do is we want to execute it so we can go dollar sign query and we can put in the execute command like this this will run it but as you might recall in our update we're literally saying we need a result back from it so to do that we have to return something so we're going to return a variable called result and we're going to make our execution query Come into result like this. So from here, it's going to do the SQL, prepare it, map everything, run it, and tell us back on this page whether or not everything works. So now let's take a look. We'll come in, we'll refresh the page, see if there's any errors. So Scott's current password is password. Let's change that to password two. Hit change password, record updated. As you can see here, it's now password two. 
if we check inside here and hit browse, the password's been changed as well. If we do this with, say, Hank, and we'll change his password to X-Men, change password, return it. As you can see, our updating is working quite well. So once again, here we're feeding back the information to tell us what's going on. And this is the core functionality. So you want to collect the information from the end user, what they're going to update. Then you want to update it at the end. And that's how we update 